The AISH application has two parts. Part A is the applicant's information and Part B is a medical report. You will need to have both parts filled out in order to have your AISH application sent in. They do not have to be sent in at the same time. They can be filled out separately. There is a checklist of items that you need to bring in order to have your AISH application filled out. Identification, identification for your spouse or partner, identification for your children, proof of an Alberta address, work history for your last four jobs, start and end dates, your family doctor's name, address and phone number, the name, address and phone number of any specialist you've seen in the past two years, and then confirmation of your income. So if you've worked in the past three months, you need three months worth of pay stubs for yourself or your partner. If you received employment insurance in the last two years, have you applied for CPPD? If so, statements of payment. Statements showing any other pension or disability income insurance. We also need confirmation of all assets you and your partner have. Your 30-day bank statement will show your checkings and saving accounts or any joint accounts. Do you have any investments? GICs, RRSPs, RDSP, RESP, TFSA, annuities, etc. Do you have a trust account? Do you own a farm or a business? This is all the information you will need in order to have a completed application. On the first page you will need to figure out your situation. I am receiving end-of-life palliative care or have been diagnosed with terminal illness. I have been assessed as needing long-term care or de designated supportive living. I am receiving income support benefits from Alberta Works. I have applied for or am applying for the Persons with Developmental Disabilities program. I have left the ACE program less than two years ago. My medical condition has not changed. None of the above apply. You'll then proceed to fill in the required information for contact information. Name, address, social insurance number, personal health care number, marital status, citizenship, living situation, and so forth. The next section, section two, is about your spouse or your partner. You will need to provide legal ID for them to photocopy at the appointment. They will also need to know if your partner is currently receiving AISH. Section 3 has to do with dependent children. If not, you go to Section 4. If you have dependent children, you need their last name, their first name, their middle name, their date of birth, if the child is 18 or 19 years old and attending high school, and whether or not the child lives with you. Section 4 is trustee and power of attorney information. You will need to provide the power of attorney documentation. Section 5 is the medical information. You will need to have your doctor's contact for name, phone number, address, and postal code. Please supply all the doctors that you've seen in regards to your medical condition, including any specialists. You can add an additional page onto this if you need. This section here is to describe your medical condition and the impact it has on your ability to work. You just write in your own words what is going on and how it affects your ability to work. Examples of functional limitations. So there's physical abilities, behavior and emotional abilities, communication and thinking abilities, and daily activity abilities. VAD provides a cheat sheet for the doctors as to what Aisha is looking for. Section six is about employment history. You need to provide the employer's name, the start date, whether you're currently working for this employer, and the end date if you're not. Whether the employment was full-time, part-time, seasonal, volunteer, or unpaid. What the type of work was and the reason for leaving, whether it was medical or other. Section 7 is education and training history. So what is the highest level of education you've completed? What steps, if you've taken, if any, to find work suitable for your medical condition? 
Are you currently involved with training or upgrading? And are you currently, are you planning on taking any further training or upgrading? Voice of Albertans with Disabilities has a list of employment vocational training services and we supply this to you. Section 9 is the asset information. You need to know how many bank accounts you have, any information about any investments, life insurance. Um, we also need to know about how many vehicles you have. Is it adapted for a disability? Do you have a recreational vehicle? What is your home situation? Recreational property, rental property, farm and business. That includes spouses. We need to have all that information for your spouse as well as yourself. The last page has three spots for signatures. The declaration that information is correct. The H consent. The Canada Revenue Agency consent where your partner and yourself will need to sign. Section 11 continues for the Canada Pension Plan Disability consent. Once all the forms have been filled out, VAD will photocopy all the documentation and get it ready for mailing.